Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello everyone, Blood Bowl 2020 Team Links roll on. I'm really excited for the Snodling team. Oh boy, Jim, I'm not one to spend a lot of time in the tier three pool of teams. So tell us what's good about the Snodling team. Let's get these folks excited for Snodlings in 2020. <laughs> well, the most exciting thing about Snodlings is their names, as you can see. They've got ridiculous names. The the, the mighty Crud Creek Nose Pickers, the Devastating Doomspire Death Dealers, and the Fabulous Fife Home Fungus Farmers. So they've got very funny names, but... You know, they've got two trolls, they've got two pump wagons, and they've got things that two bombardiers that that's that's the main draw of the team oh boy so four of those uh, six players you listed are very stupid so we're off to a uh, bang and start already huh yeah that's a real problem i think that's a real drawback of the pump wagons um so that, you know you've got train trolls which are on the same as black oak and goblin trolls they've got a three plus loner uh they're pretty decent but and the pump wagons would be good Kind of, even though they've got Secret Weapon. Uh, you know, they've got Stand Firm, they've got Juggernaut, they've got Mighty Blow plus one, they've got Dirty Player plus one. So, like, they've got some, they're only armor 9 plus, but they've got some good things going for them, but they're really stupid. The fact that really stupid players can't help other really stupid players makes it a real hard sell to have four really stupid players on the team. Absolutely, and it makes it they're not reliable to help protect the ball which is going to be hard as we move into the rank and file of this team. Yeah, what, what's interesting here is, um, although they're, right, so Snotling linemen have Titchy, which means that they don't exert tackle zones when you're dodging into a, a, a tackle zone of a Snotling. Um, it also they still gives, make you dodge, but they don't count against your dodge roll. Yes, sorry, yeah, they, they don't exert the minus modifier from the tackle zone. Yeah, they still exert tackle zones, yeah. Um, so, and then it gives them plus one to dodging. So they're, they're dodging on two pluses, unmodified, because of stunty. And they've got swarming, which gives them an extra D3 on a drive. So you'll, you will be having 12 to 14 players on the pitch, potentially. So, like, that's okay. Um, but the, the, it's gonna obviously, it's really hard to protect the ball and stuff and have tackle zones up, because... You're going to lose your trolls sometimes. If you use pump wagons, you'll lose them sometimes. And then you've got to assist the pump wagons and trolls as well, whatever happens. Um, but, crucially, the fungus flingers, the fun hoppers, and the stilty runners do not have titchy. So these six players will have tackle zones at all times, like negative modifier tackle zones. So you can actually protect the ball a bit with them. Um, the, the Stilty Runners and the Fun Hoppers both get plus movement for 5k, which is obviously a good deal. It kind of sucks that they don't get the plus one for dodging. Obviously, that, that's a pretty big deal, losing the plus one to dodge. Um, Pogo, stip is, Pogo Stick is essentially useless because not it lets you jump. Um, it, it makes you jump on a 2+, plus, but you can't have the Leap Skill if you have Pogo Sticks. So you can't even take the Leap Stick. The leap skill once you, if you have the pogo stick trait so they will never be able to jump over somebody's head on a two plus only um only prone or stun players they can jump over not unoccupied or occupied um still the runners get sprint which is okay isn't it so like they're real good ones to get thrown by the troll uh, with movement six and sprint they've actually got a decent one turn option with those guys and the fungus fungus flingers uh bombs have been improved and they've got a 4 plus PA, unlike the dreadful 5 plus PA of the other players. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, you know, they can they can throw bombs at people and bombs, they get passing on normals, which is very nice, isn't it? They can get uh, they can get early, early like Hail Mary pass or pass, I think pass is better personally because the important thing is to not fumble and get it going where you want. Also, the fact that bombs are 50-50 to blow up even if they're caught now, means you can just completely throw it at opposing players. And uh, it can be really quite devastating having those bombardiers. Very interesting. Hey, Jim, uh, random question. Do you know if running pass can affect a bombardier throw? Or does bombardier overwrite that because it says something similar to, you know, you can't throw a bomb if you've moved this turn? Yes, you can't throw a bomb if you move this turn. Um, 
<laughs> it does say that specifically. It also I, 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 I might have found the one thing that skill could be pretty good for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been that would have been all right, but unfortunately not. Um, <laughs> so the team reroll sixty k, like that's all right, isn't it? They've got bribery and corruption, so they get cheap bribes. Low cost linemen, so the snotling linemen do not count for team value, um, so that's obviously a great a great bonus for them. So you know you could just take two trolls and. 13 or 12 or 13 something linemen if you wanted and then your team value would be 230 <laughs> you could just have <laughs> loads and loads of inducements um so you know it, it, it's it, there's interesting options available to them um you know like I, they can get because they've got underworld challenge oh yeah but snotlings are un underworld now as well so they have underworld challenge which which allows them to have skaven star players and glad smasher it's pretty decent uh, I really like Hackflam Scuttle Spike in this edition of the rules. So, you know, they can have a movement 9, strength 3 ball carrier playing for them. That's that's pretty nice when, you know, otherwise they would have a horrible slow strength 1 guy carrying the ball. And also they can have Morg, obviously. Morg 340k is phenomenal value now and Mighty Blow Plus 2 is terrifying. And he can keep an eye on the trolls as well, can't he? Because he doesn't have really stupid, so... I feel like they would definitely want Morg every single game, 100%. <laughs> Fair enough. And so how would you build your team to be able to achieve all that, Jim? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I think you've, you, you've got to have the trolls. That's that's a given. Um, and then I, I would I would honestly probably forego the pump wagons. Um, but I do kind of like having... Yeah, I probably would have both bombers, both fun hoppers, both stilty runners. Um, <laughs> it's it's you know so that would that would come out at three fifty um, TV and then I guess you could have um, a re roll or even two you could even have two re rolls which would bring you to four seventy and then you could have Glatton uh, Glatton Morg as well um, not sorry not Glatton Morg uh, Hackflam Skull Spike and Morg you could induce. And plus you'd have all the positionals. I guess that would be all right. I guess that would be okay. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, hey, look, if you're if you're in the market to play Snotlings, you know what you're getting into. And if you don't, please, please go back and rewatch this video <laughs> at half speed. <laughs> because you don't want to buy all these miniatures and then get out there and be like, I thought I could compete well. You can't. Like, that's that's the world you're entering with a Tier 3 team like Snotlings. And that's fine for how you want to play the game, but you have to understand that going into it. And, uh, yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think I agree with you on that. This is a fun team if you want to explore some star players <clears throat> that you can pretty much consistently roster for every game in almost any league. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, that, that's the one thing going for them. Is players for free basically? <laughs> yeah. Um, if only pump wagons weren't really stupid, because like they look pretty fun, don't they, with their skills and stuff? And like, obviously, the model is amazing. Yeah. So, so like, I would really, I would really want them to be good, but I don't really think they're not. <laughs> I think they're really yeah, not good. I, I tend to agree. It's it's a hard sell knowing, like, I mean, uh, uh, the cheap bribes aside. It's a hard sell knowing that you're going to uh, secret weapon your way off the pitch after using it and that you're probably almost assuredly not going to get eight turns of use out of it um, anyway with really stupid. Uh, yeah. And then of, uh, of those eight turns, how many of those are actually going to be conveniently a two plus roll and not a four plus roll? Yeah. Like, it's just a, it's a nightmare waiting to happen. Yeah, I think you could maybe have one, I guess, if you were really, you know, even if you're trying to be competitive with Snotlings, which seems, <laughs> you know, there lies madness anyway. But if you were really trying, I guess you could handle one pump wagon. Um, but it's just, what's bad about them as well is you've got to remember, Snotlings are obviously going to die in droves. And then if you've got two bombardiers who are getting sent off after a drive, and then two, two more, like you can't have four... You can't have four secret weapons. That's like that's crazy because then you like playing a twelve-man team, which is just, you know, it's not going to work, is it? So, I'd be tempted to maybe at max I would roll one pump wagon, and maybe it's even just one 
bombardier actually because the the auto send off is a real killer unless you find a way to get you know a bunch of bribes but even then they die super easy i don't know man it's hard it's hard snotlings are a hard team to get anything out of i think but well there you go the snotling blood bowl 2020 team league has tied jim up like a pretzel and that's uh that's just the start of it Good luck if you're uh, going down this road. It's a uh, it's a bumpy one. <laughs> yeah. But that'll do it from us on the Snotlings. I cannot wait to see if you are the player who's looking forward to this team. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks again for having me, Jim. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.